Hey guys, it's Ashley. If you're new to my channel, what's up? Today I have a haul for you guys. I went ahead and told you guys on my Instagram that I went to Sephora, MAC, and Ulta. And if you guys wanted me to do a video, you guys said yes. I also asked if you guys wanted me to do an Instagram live or a YouTube video. And well, I'm here. So we all know that YouTube won. It was a really close call. Right now it was... Well, right now I took a picture of it, but YouTube was 59% and Instagram was 41%. There was a time when it was like 50-50 and I was like, oh my gosh, I might have to do my first Instagram live. I think I've done it before, but not like related to beauty. But anywho, this video in general shouldn't even have been a haul. I've been trying to have self-control when it comes to shopping and I swear I was on my lunch break and I was like, I'm just going to go to Sephora and I need to get these things and then out of nowhere... Bougie Ashley came out and was like, go treat yourself. You deserve it. Go, girl. Yes. And, well, this is the aftermath. So we're going to go ahead and start with Sephora since Sephora is the first store that I went to. Now, this is when I had control. I swear I was like, I'm just going to go in there for these three things. And the first thing that I wanted to go buy is these gummies. These are the Hum Beauty Starts From Within Gummies with Benefits. These are supposed to help for hair growth and things like that. Um, right now, I'm kind of obsessed with trying to grow my hair. I've never been able to have long hair. It's always been kind of like stuck to this length. I want it longer. And specifically because I'm not bleaching my hair anymore, I feel like I'm trying to get my hair into a more healthier state and that way it can grow better. So right now, I'm obsessed with that. I saw the reviews on this on Sephora and they were so good. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give these a try. They're only $25, you guys. And it comes with 60 and you take them twice a day. So this is just a one month supply. Now, if you guys want to do a review on these, let me know. Comment below, let me know. Or maybe if you've tried these, let me know how they work out for you. Um, definitely, this is something that you don't want to just be like, oh, in a month you're going to see results. I mean, you might see a little bit, but I feel like you need to give this at least two to three months. So if you guys are interested in me doing a review, comment below and let me know. Two other things that I went to Sephora for was for some lashes. You guys, I'm obsessed with these lashes. You guys have seen them in some of my makeup tutorials. I'm in love with the Lily Lashes in the style of Miami. They're just so freaking gorgeous. They're so beautiful. And if you watch my old makeup videos, I've talked about before how... Um, I used to be obsessed with like House of Lashes and I still am. They're good lashes. But I always said, man, I prefer to pay, I believe House of Lashes are maybe like $15 a piece or so versus paying 30 bucks for a pair of lashes. I was like, I would never be, a, you know, the bay. I'll never buy $30 lashes. Like, I don't got money, okay? So I can't just be affording $30 lashes all the time. But trust me. After buying one pair and giving in, I am obsessed. I just can't. Like, they last a really long time. The style is just so beautiful. I never thought I would like those long lashes. It's just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And the other pair that I have, I don't know where they're at right now, but they're already kind of, you know, losing its shape. It was time for me to get the new one. So, I gave in. And again, I bought another style of the Miami. And I was like, you know what? Let me splurge a little bit more and let me try a different style from Lily Lashes and see if I like other lashes from her. So I also got the Lily Lashes in the style, oh my god, I butcher names, you guys. You guys need to help me with this one here. Uh, Mikonos? Is that what it's called? It's this way. Me, Mikonos, Mikonos, Mikonos? <laughs> oh my god, my camera's not focusing. There you go. Mikonos, Mikonos. I don't know, but this is what the lashes look like. They're kind of similar to, cause so these are the Miami. This one here are Miami, if I can show you. There you go. Miami, and these are Mykonos. They're kind of similar, just that this one are more fuller and more dramatic. So I wonder what this is going to look like on, because when I first tried these on, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I like it, because I wasn't used to this kind of style. So I feel like it's going to take me a while to get used to this too, but... Yeah, $30 each, and I was like, okay, that's it. No more. I'm good. I'm going to go uh, back to my job, and I'm just going to eat. But instead, Bougie Ashley came out and was like, you know what, Ashley? You haven't been to Mac in quite some time. You want to maybe go check it out and see what's new? And well then, now, here's a Mac bag. Mac bag? It's not Mac. Mag. Mac. We're going to get Mac back. <laughs> Mac. Mac bag that's like a tongue twister walking into mac was just so bad because like literally when i say bougie ashley came out like bougie ashley came 
out. Like, I went in there, and this guy greeted me. He was complimenting my makeup. He was making me feel myself. He was feeding that bougie, Ashley. And then I was just looking at the lip liners, because, like, that's, like, the first thing that they have. And I was looking at them, and I'm a sucker for nude lipsticks. Like, anything neutral and nude, I'm obsessed with. So I went ahead and I picked up these liners here. This is in the color, where can I get the shade number, or name? And this is in Subculture, this pencil here. Let me open them up to give you guys some swatches. But literally, I was, like, looking at these lip liners, swatching them in my hands, and then I would be like, Ben... I'm gonna take this one and then Ben I'm gonna take this one and then and I'm gonna get that and that and then I, I I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one okay so this one is subculture I'm gonna do a swatch here in my hand this is what subculture looks like it's such a pretty nude color so I bought that lip liner and I also got in the color oak so this is what oak looks like. I know they kind of look similar, but you can see how one is more like more brown. The other one has a little bit more like a pinkish undertone. So I have subculture and oak. Honestly, I don't know how much the lip liners are for. Let me let me take out the receipt. So the lip liners are eighteen dollars a piece. I know they're kind of expensive. I think I only own like one lip liner right now from Mac. So with these, now I own three. So little by little, start building your collection. I also saw that they had like these lip duels with certain colors and one of them that stood out to me was this one because this is the Ruby Woo you guys. I used to own two Ruby Woo lipsticks for MAC and I don't know, I feel like someone stole them from me because I can't find them. So if I saw this duo I was like for sure I gotta have it because I feel like Ruby Woo is one of the most beautiful reds out there specifically in MAC as well. It's just so pretty and I like the way it looks on me so this is... Ruby Woo lip liner, so I'll do a swatch for you guys, and let me also do a swatch of the lipstick on my hand so you guys can see how beautiful this red is. Oh my god, it's so bright, it is so beautiful. Oh, that's Ruby Woo, you guys. MAC lipstick smells so good. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but they smell so good. So, the lip duo was $27. I don't know how much it would have been separately, but I know these are like 18, so 18 plus how much are their lipsticks, like 20 something around there, I don't know, but I think it was a pretty good deal, so 27 for the Ruby Woo. Next thing I purchased from MAC was this highlighter, this is in the color Soft Frost, right now I'm obsessed with like colored highlighters, like the pink one that I have already from MAC, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it's at at the moment, but I'm obsessed with that one. I wear it all the time, and I saw this one. It's so pretty, very similar to, because the one for MAC that I already have is called, like, Shower Gold or something like that. It's super pretty. It has a pink undertone, but this one, you guys, this one has a more, like, purplish undertone. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to catch that on camera. I'm not flipping you off. I swear I'm not flipping you off, but let me swatch it on my hand over here so you guys can see it. Let's see if maybe the light picks it up. Do you see it? It's not as pink as the other one. This one is more of a pinkish lavender color. So pretty. I went ahead and I swatched the uh, shower gold one because I wanted you guys to really see the difference. Because I feel like if I don't swatch it, they might look similar. But you see how that one has more of a, a peach pink undertone. And then this one here is the, the new one that I got, the soft frost or something like that. So freaking gorgeous and this baby retailed for $34 it's actually pretty expensive I didn't really pay attention to the price that's kind of expensive but they'll last you and they're so freaking beautiful now the last thing that I bought at Mac you guys and you guys are gonna hate me for this because I hate myself is I'm really really bad when it comes to buying new makeup nowadays I feel like I'm just not a type to be like fighting to get the new things like you know when they come out I don't, I don't know how to explain it but I need to get back into the routine of like getting the new things so I can like review it show it to you guys you know be on be on point be on you know on trend basically but you guys already know I own the Patrick Star Floral Realness both of the ones that came out with during that time and well I'm really late now but I got the Patrick Star Summer Collection I just couldn't because Patrick Star is coming out with them like all the time now. Like I feel like he's gonna come out with a couple new ones too coming up. He'll probably have one for like the fall, probably one for the winter. I don't know. 
he's doing his thing and I'm happy for you. And not only that, but they're really good deals, you guys. I can't, I just, I'm the sucker for deals too. $49.50 for this. And let me show you what's inside. <laughs> Anyways, talking about Patrick though, did you guys watch his um, music video to promote his summer collection? He is fucking fabulous. He is so freaking gorgeous. He's so much fun. And again, $49.50 for these items. So let's start off with this here, which is the eyeshadow palette. Look at these colors. Tell me they're not colors that you wouldn't wear. Like, he did a good job because he kept it warm. He kept it with the colors that people would really play with. So this is so cute, so nice. Let me do some swatches again for you guys. So this is what the shades look like. I'm sorry I did it so, like, weirdly. But <laughs> this is what they look like this so pretty i'm digging these colors can't play can't wait i can never speak can't wait to play with these colors such a pretty palette it comes with four eyeshadows and you guys already know that mac eyeshadows are like what like 20 something a piece or so so good deal i just realized that the paletero man is going around he's all gonna be able to hear it and you guys are probably wondering right now like oh my god paletero is atrás de me right now oh my god no it's me sorry Sorry that I hyped you up. Sorry that I got you excited. The Patrick Star Summer Collection also comes with a bronzer. The bronzer looks a little darker than the Hula bronzer that I normally wear. But it's such a pretty shade. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I don't even know where to put it so you guys can see. Okay, let me just put it here. So this is the bronzer. I guess when, it, when I put it on like this, it doesn't look that dark. It just looks really, really dark on the pan. On camera, I don't think it's going to catch up, but... It looks really dark on the pan, but once you swatch it into your hand, I feel like it looks not not as dark. But that's pretty cute. Usually a bronzer with them, it's like about $37, $27. So, yeah. The Summer Collection also comes with two lip glosses. Now, I'm recently getting into lip glosses. I didn't used to be like a big fan of lip glosses. But this one here is in the color. It's called Cream Pie. And this is what that one looks like. So, it's this one. That will the glossy one right there that you guys can see. That one's cream pie. It's such a pretty shade. It's like a nudish, pinkish undertone lip gloss. So pretty. And then this one is called Fashion Punch, which is also like a nude color, which is this one right here. Yeah, that one right there. This one I'm a little worried about trying out because it's a little bit too nude. And I feel like it'll wash me out. But we'll have to play with it and see. But pretty ass lip glosses and that is everything that i got from mac now let's move on to ulta so here's my ulta bag by the way you guys i was told that now i'm a diamond i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but i was like okay thank you so again when i went to ulta it was with the purpose i just needed to go get a couple items but you know it's just hard to go places and be like i'm just gonna go for one thing yeah that never really happens. But the main thing that I was... Let me take these things out because it's going to be so annoying for you just to be hearing the, of this all the time. So the main thing that I went to Ulta for is for this heat protector that was recommended to me by one of my co-workers. She said that she swears by this, that this smells amazing, and that she just loves the way that this feels on the skin. And I feel like I have a hair here. I'm so sorry. But this is the Living Proof Restore Instant Protector. Now this baby here is expensive. I can tell you that. Where's the receipt? Give me one moment. So this baby here was $27. I wasn't sure if I wanted to or not. Like, do you guys ever have that thing where like you feel like, oh, I'll spend $27 on this. But then when something else that you need is $27, you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to pay that price. Because I'm just not used to using heat protectors. So I'm kind of like, I mean, I used to use heat protectors a long time ago. And I used to use the L'Oreal heat protector, the one in the red bottle. It smelled amazing and it was way cheaper than this. But I wanted to try something more in the professional line and see. I'm not saying that L'Oreal isn't professional, but I'm just saying I want to try something a little bit more um, high-end. Another thing that I went in there for is because, like I said again, I'm trying to grow out my hair. So for me to do that, I need something that's going to help it grow. I'm going to need, you know, some heat protector. I'm going to need a haircut. And I saw reviews about this, so I said I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. This is the Mark Anthony Straightening Grow Long leave-in this is what the bottle looks like it's a kind of cute bottle it smells really good too everybody kept raving about how good it smells and it comes in a little uh, spray bottle like that now this is supposed to help you grow your hair because it has uh, it says with caffeine and 
I can't pronounce this word. Every single time I have to pronounce something, you know what I feel like? I feel like, um, oh my god, what's her name? I believe her name is like May. You know, Brent, Brentman, um, Brentman's sister, when he makes her pronounce like macchiato and she says it all funny. Yeah, that's me with other words, okay? So, uh, I believe it's ginseng, ginseng, ginseng. Let me see if you guys can read that because the lighting might throw you guys off. But, ginseng, ginseng. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. But it says it's supposed to help nourish, detangle, reduce breakage, frizz, and split ends. I did actually use this today because I washed my hair. Um, I really feel like it's really smooth. It helped a little bit with the frizz. Um, but I'm going to see how this goes. The main reason why I got it is because it said it was going to help my hair growth. And everybody was raving, saying how good it is and how it's inexpensive and that they saw um, results and things like that. So this baby here was drum roll please $7.99 so that's a really decent price for a hair product so again if you guys want me to do a review about these products let me know down below if my hair grows I'll definitely do a separate video on how I had my hair grow so those are the main things that I went to Ulta for but then I came out with some other stuff one of the things that I bought was a mascara. Now, if you guys, again, if you guys don't watch my other videos, you guys don't understand certain things, so you need to go watch my other videos, you guys can understand. But, I feel like, because I wear lashes, like, all the time, I don't think that I need to spend so much money on mascaras. So, for me, I think a drugstore mascara is fine. I think this L'Oreal one is pretty good. Maybelline has a couple good ones, too. But I've spent so much money on other mascaras. Well, this one here, I remember, was gifted to me once. And then I got it again because it came in a gift set um, when I bought something. And I just don't think this is good. The first time, it was kind of drying. And I was like, mm, this sounds like I'm doing a review. But let me just explain to you guys is that the first time I got it and it was gifted to me, it was really dry and it was flaking. And then the second time that I got it in this gift set, it was, again, dry and flaky. So I'm just thinking that that's the way the formula is. So I don't really think it's the best. Um, but I've tried, like, this Maybelline one. It's pretty good. I like to switch it off here and there. And then I can't find the other one. But I recently bought, like, a travel size Urban Decay one. And it wasn't all that. So that's why I was like, I need to buy myself a mascara because I'm running out of options here. And this one, I believe... This L'Oreal Mascara, look at that. It's $7.99 and it will last you a while. No flakes or anything like that. So again, if you are wearing lashes, I feel like you don't necessarily need to worry too much about getting an expensive mascara. After I got what I actually needed, I started browsing the store because it's hard not to. And I decided, you know what? I kind of need a concealer because I kind of do, I kind of don't. Actually, I don't. But I wanted one. <laughs> so I always wanted to try this NARS concealer. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. But I remember buying it once and I got the wrong shade. And it kind of like threw me off and I returned it. But then I wanted to give it another shot. So the color that I got it in, which it might be my shade, is the... It's called Light 2.6 Café con Leche. Let me give you guys a little swatch. That sounds bomb as hell right now, Café con Leche. You know what sounds really good? Conchitas. The vanilla one, Conchita, vanilla one, con un chocolate de abuelita. Oh my god, that sounds so good right now. But let me do a swatch for you guys. This one looks a little darker, but it has a yellow undertone, which will help brighten my under eyes since they kind of have um, uh, dark circles. So this is what the shade looks like. It's still light, but it has a yellow undertone. Let me show you. Okay, let me Give me one moment. I love the shape tape concealer, but the girl who gave it to me, um, she kind of gave me the wrong shade because I feel like this is way too light. I don't like to be super, super white underneath, but this is in the color light sand. And every single time I go to Ulta, I'm like, I want to get it again, but I don't want to get this specific shade. Let me show you guys the difference between these two concealers. Not the formula-wise, just the color-wise. Look at that. I like the NARS one because it's a little more yellowy and not as white. And look at the Sharp Tape one. It's so, so white. Like, I know I'm white, but I don't want my under eye to be that white. I think I can go, like, um, a darker shade than this one and just kind of play with it. Concealers are always, like, tricky to get into. In general, like, foundations and concealers are things that are really tricky to get, like, the right shade. You kind of have to mess around and play with some cur cur curtains. <laughs> Play with some curtains, guys. Play with some colors and then figure out, like, what really works for you. So, if you get, you get, 
All I'm thinking about is Conchitas. That's why I'm like, can't talk now. But that's why you should like go to Sephora, get samples, things like that. Because some concealers and foundations also oxidize. So they can go darker on your skin and things like that. But anyways, I'm trying out this NARS concealer. And this one retails for Café con Leche at $30. That's a pretty expensive ass concealer. But I wanted to try it. Another NARS product because I was in the NARS section. I couldn't, I'm telling you guys, when it comes to deals, I just cannot even, but this, this is a little, a little mini orgasm set. Mini orgasm set. It is the tiniest little thing ever. I've never owned anything from NARS, so this would be like, well, actually, I lied. Let me tell you guys a little story. I went to Sephora once, and I bought one of their cream blushes, and I was obsessed with that color. I can't remember what color it was. I know it was an orgasm. It was like more of like a orangey kind of color anyways it was a beautiful color and I only used it once and then I had to throw it away because it literally was spilling all over my makeup the packaging sucked so it was just like coming out it was just it was horrifying so that was my first NARS product and the packaging I wasn't so happy with actually no I think I bought the radiant foundation once upon a time I did like and returned it but I've never actually kept something from NARS so I wanted to treat myself give NARS another chance but um this is a good way too like if you never have tried any of these products buying it in a little like set like this will help you determine if you like it and if you like it you can buy the full size so this one here comes with a lip gloss a lipstick and a blush so let me show you guys look just so cute look at these babies they're so cute you know what this looks like these looks like the sizes that you get when um like a sephora when you have all these points you're like pick your pick what you want this is basically the size, but these are all in orgasm. Let me go ahead and do a swatch for you guys of the lipstick. That's what the lipstick looks like. It's super sheer, but it's so freaking cute. The lip gloss is basically going to look like the same. It comes like, oh, that was a good like ASMR sound. This is what the lip gloss looks like. It's a little darker, but it's so freaking gorgeous. Sorry, my camera's having a hard time focusing because it's thinking about conchitas. I really want conchitas now. And then, oh my god, look at how tiny and cute this little uh, lip brush. Oh my god, this blush is. And I know, I know my fingers are red, okay? I was eating hot puffs. You jelly? But look at how tiny this little, this looks like Barbie makeup. Such a cute little packaging. I can't, okay, there, I got the thing off. Let me do a swatch for you guys and how this blush looks like oh i'm sorry no more <laughs> i finished the blush by just swatching it <laughs> but this is what the blush looks like i have like no more room for swatches such a pretty little pinky shade but basically that is what the nars little mini orgasm set looks like and it retails for $29 which is not that bad like i got this concealer for $30 and i got all those three things for almost $30. I kept walking around and I picked up this two here which is the ColourPop Dream Team Cra <laughs> Kathleen Lights Lip Bundle. Now I remember seeing this before and I don't know why I didn't pick it up because I was kind of I guess having self-control but I kind of lost it today. Well I lost it that time when I was there but I went ahead and I grabbed this. It comes with three Lip colors, I believe it's like one matte lip color or like, I don't know. We'll see right now. But the reason why I got this is because I've been actually looking for an orangey lipstick. But I don't want like a orange-orange lipstick, if that makes sense. Like I like a hint of orange. <laughs> I was looking for something in particular. And I found this one here, which is in the color. These names. This is in the color Reaver or Rever. Reaver or Rever. Reaver? Rever? I don't even know how I graduated, you guys. But I'm going to swatch it here on my hand. This is what Reaver Rever. <laughs> this is what Reaver Rever looks like. It's a really pretty shade. It's like orangey, but it's not like a bright, bright orange, if that makes any sense. It also comes with this one, which is called Dreamy, which is a shade that like I feel everyone would wear. So let me go ahead and do a swatch for this one. I believe this is all like lip cream, like matte colors. 
Look at that. That's so pretty. That's dreamy. I don't know why my camera's focusing on other parts of my body that it shouldn't be focusing. There you go. That's dreamy. And then I know that this is a lip gloss. This is called Moon Child. I love the packaging. I don't think you can really see it on camera, but it has like shimmer in there. So cute. Let me do a swatch for you guys in the back of my hand. Do you guys see that? It's so freaking cute. That lip duel retailed for $16. I think that's actually pretty good because I know there's um like for example dose of colors. Each of their liquid lipsticks are like what is it 30? No, 20. Like $20. So to get three for 16, that's a good price. And I swear that was like the only things I was gonna be getting, but then Ulta tricks you because you know they always have a line to check out and they trick you because they put all this like sales stuff in the front they also have all their travel size things in the front so while you're waiting in line thinking that you is done with everything you were gonna get you're over there lurking seeing like oh what is this what is that and they end up getting more things so that happened to me but i only i only fell for one thing and this was the urban decay optical illusion primer i'm a sucker for primer i like to trade off my primers and test different things but once i bought it i regretted it because i was kind of like oh that sounds like it's going to be more like silicone -y. and i know that silicone on my skin is a no good because i'm more combination oily so anything i try to stay away from silicone because that will make me really oily so anyways this is what the primer looks like guys i'm a fucking hot mess right now i need to go clean myself but let me finish off this video <laughs> so this is what it looks like it comes with the pump this is the travel size obviously it's not the full size but for primers in particular if you don't want to get sample if you don't want to get like a sample if you go to Sephora and they give you a little like little tubey thing then make sure to just buy the travel size that way you don't spend all the amount all the amount of monies <laughs> that way you don't spend you know 40 bucks on something that you're gonna throw away or not like or whatever so this one here was still kind of expensive $16 that's kind of expensive but at the same time you'll get a couple wears out of this not sure exactly how I feel about it yet I haven't really tried it so yeah oh my god I am sweating out here it's been so hot in LA especially I can't speak especially inside my house and i'm talking like this because i feel weird because i have lip gloss on my hand like i said i'm a hot mess right now but anyways thank you so much for watching this was the haul comment down below and let me know do you guys own any of the products that i purchased what are your thoughts do you think that i should go and buy something in particular that you want me to do a review on comment down below you guys know that i love to interact with you guys also follow me on instagram that you guys can get you know, help me in my decisions of doing specific things. So if you want to be part of that, follow me on my Instagram. I'll go ahead and I'll link it on my description box. And yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.